So you have a personal injury case. Should you take a loan against the case because you need money? Hi, I'm Stephen Goldstein, personal injury lawyer in New York and New Jersey. On today's video, we're going to discuss the pros and cons of taking out a loan against your personal injury case. Many of you may be aware that if you have a personal injury case, there are companies that will lend you money and then take a portion of your settlement when the case is over. When they advertise, they say things like they will help you pay your rent, it'll help you pay your bills, it'll help replace any wages that you've lost because you're out of work because of your personal injury case. And if someone is truly in need, these loans could be helpful. But here is a word of warning before you think about taking these loans. The interest rates on these loans are tremendous. Why is that? Although they're couched as loans and they're talked about as loans, what they really are are companies are purchasing an interest in your settlement. And what does that mean legally and why is that significant? Well, a bank is subject to what's called usury laws. What those laws say basically are that there is a maximum percentage that any bank or loan company, not a loan company that loans against uh, personal injury cases, but a bank or other financial institution, they can only charge an interest rate up to a certain amount. It's probably somewhere 20 in the 20 percent, which is really, really high, and you're not going to pay that for almost any loan out there right now. However, the loan companies that loan against your personal injury settlement are not financial institutions and they quote unquote are not making loans to you. What they're doing by purchasing an interest in the case is getting around those laws that limit the amount of interest they can charge. In my experience I have seen such examples as somebody taking a loan out for a thousand dollars and three years later owing five thousand dollars or somebody taking a loan for five thousand dollars and five years later owing forty four thousand dollars. Now when people take that money in the beginning of the case, they're very happy to take the money. However, when it's time to pay back that loan, nobody is ever happy because the interest that you're going to pay is going to be astronomical. Understand your lawyer can negotiate with that company and get the rates down, but more times than not, the client is still going to be very unhappy with the end result and usually blames the lawyer, even though the lawyer has nothing to do with the loan company. The lawyer does not make any money off the loan company and the lawyer can't control what the loan company charges. So what's the moral of the story? Unless you are truly, truly, truly in need, my advice is don't take the loan or if you're going to take a loan, take the least amount that's possible and try and get it paid back as soon as possible even if it's from a source other than your lawsuit. Thanks for watching. I hope I've uh, answered any addressed or your concerns regarding these loans. If you have any further questions, you can always call me or email me at the numbers listed at the bottom of the screen. Thanks for watching.